Hello everyone and welcome back to Wicked Art. It's Wicked here and we are in our final step for drawing human anatomy. Today we are going to be doing the human head. So the premise for this is going to be the same for men and women. It's just going to be probably a smaller chin for a female. But uh, you essentially uh, are just going to start with like a circle for the skull shape okay so depending on what angle you're drawing at you can always just start with this circle and that will be considered the top of the head now I know most people like to come in and just start drawing and put a face but nobody's head is perfectly rounded now if you're drawing like a cartoon character like from Loud House or something their heads are just round anyway but for the purpose of this we're gonna construct an actual human face. So a good thing to do is we can draw a center line just you know wherever so like my head is going to be kind of turned a little bit right and then here on the side of the head we can kind of put a circle here for where the ear is going to be and the reason why we do that is we can now connect the jaw line from down here right so we can kind of run down from the center of the ear and kind of turn that down. And once we reach this portion, and that's the center of the head here, um, it's just really a guideline. You can kind of change it up however. So for uh, you know, a male's chin, we'll, we'll extend it a little bit and then kind of come out and just take that up to the head like that there okay so if we have our ear is in this location so let's we know that it's going to connect to the bottom of the jawline right so I can go ahead and just kind of put in an ear shape for now and once I've done that I can kind of clear that up in that area Okay. Now you can draw ears however you want. Um, again, just depends on the style that you're drawing in. But for the sake of this video, we're going to draw our ears like this. So I have like a little line coming down and then a line here. And then we're going to kind of draw that right inside there. All right. Now, as far as the eyes go, our top of our earlobe, if you kind of reach just above, it kind of runs right alongside like where our uh, eyebrows would be. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to knock out the nose, which will be more in the center location right in here. So a good thing you can do to just practice is you can kind of draw like this diamond shape right inside of there. And we can get rid of these lines over here as well. Okay, so once you have that diamond shape in there, think of this bottom portion as the uh, part that connects to the upper lip of your nose right here. So what I can do is I can now come in here and kind of draw the nostril in. I can take this part of the face here and I curve it up and again just kind of draw the nostril in. And then once I have that, I can kind of clean up around that area. And we can draw our nose like this. Now we're not, you know, specifically drawing anything crazy, um, like to look like somebody. So you can draw your nose as big or as little as you want. Uh, but from there, you could come in and draw your eye shape. Again, just depending on your character and what you want it to look like, and get that eye in there like that. Okay, and then up here at this line where it's kind of curved up, that's where I can come in and place my eyebrow. Right? And then on this side, if you want, you could put like a little guideline to help, uh, you know, the spacing between your eye. You don't want them really close together. You want them to kind of separate. So then from there, I can come in.
and I can draw my other eye and then our eyebrow we'll just go above that like that there okay and then once I have those things in place I no longer need that lines in the middle or these lines down here okay now for the head shape here we want to kind of have this eyebrow ridge and then that pops back out into the cheek here and then for the face it's as simple as drawing this kind of like M shaped now for me when I draw males I usually just draw the bottom lip only and that'll give me my head and then obviously from behind there would be where your neck would come off And that'll give you a basic human face. I'm going to just adjust this nostril a little bit. But again, it's completely up to you how you want to draw that, just as long as you're constructing the way you should. Now, one of the more, uh, that this would be what would be called like a three-quarter view. So the one of the hardest ones to draw is the profile, right? So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start with a circle, but we're going to kind of elongate. So think of it kind of like a skull on a head. It's kind of shaped longer, right? And then I can simply just run my line down the front side of my face, okay? Now again, we want to kind of have a spot for the ear right in here so that I know where to come off and run my jawline okay now the next thing that I like to do is I like to go ahead and get the nose in place so that I can build the rest of it off now right here where this line meets right where the skulls at is where we have the bridge of the nose where it runs right off the forehead so I'm just gonna kind of take that nose out And then I'm simply just going to kind of make that nostril shape. Again, depends on your character, what you're drawing. You can make the nose or the face look like whatever you want. So you can have a large nose, a small nose. It's completely up to you. Next thing I want to do, though, is right here up underneath the nose where it connects to that upper lip, I'm going to put a slight curve right in here. And we're going to come out to the lip. And we'll just kind of take that back. And then you just simply make the bottom lip. And then the next part is your chin. So you can see I'm going to have to make an adjustment. Because if I just draw my chin right here, it's going to be like he doesn't have a chin at all. But I'm going to put like a slight curve. And take that down. And just run that jawline back. And remember, this is like a beginner's level thing to do as well. So we're not looking for absolute perfection. Just kind of getting you used to drawing the head for different shapes. So I can draw my ear in here. Right? So again, you can draw that however you'd like. just gonna kind of put the shape right in here for the ear and we have ourselves a nice little ear shape now this is the back of my head so as that starts to curve in right here behind the ear we're gonna take that out into the neck all right so now we can come in here to the bridge of the eye now the tricky thing is is most people come over here and start drawing the eye over here you want to have a little bit again of some spacing so the best way to draw the eye from the side 
is to almost make like this pyramid shape or triangular shape, but we're just not going to connect it. And we'll just place the eye right in there. And then, of course, right above that is where we can take the eyebrow. And that's where we can kind of have our face from the side. Now, for the rest of the neck, we want to kind of come into the middle here of the jaw. And that'll give us a profile view for that head. Okay. So a few tricks, you know, just to keep things centered. And then you can start going in and adding, um, you know, like your, your expressions or anything that you want to do, right? So again, I can just stick with the basic structure. I can start with my circles for the head here, right? I can draw me a little line down just for knowing where the center of the head is. And then what you can start focusing on is building the structure of the face, right? So again, I can come over here. I'm going to have my little circle for the ear. But then I want to start thinking about things like, okay, now that I have the basics down, how can I start adding more to the image? So if this is like the eyebrow area, I would have this come down and start making a more predominant cheekbone. Bringing that right down into the chin. And then simply just taking it back. Now again, this is all going to be based off of you know, your, your character itself. So what do they look like? Um, do they have a big head? tiny head I mean it's just completely up to you and once you have those things in there you know you can start seeing things like since I said this is my eyebrow area right I can have my nose coming right down in here and again it gives you the chance to experiment with different facial types and creating characters, right? Again, I like to draw the bottom lip, but you can do whatever for yours. That's the thing with art, is it's all about experimenting and finding that thing that's going to work out best for you. So we're just keeping things loose and sketchy, not really focusing too much on an overabundance of detail. And if I wanted to, you know, I could add some generic hair on there. I'm not going to draw anything fancy. Let's just leave them bald for now. So again, right here where my jawline connects would be where my ear is going to come in. And I make my ear shape. Again, I'd run my neck down. Right into here. And I have my head. Okay. So again, you're just going to keep practicing and come up with different, uh, you know, facial shapes. So like something that you can do is just kind of from there. If you want to get into more like creative designs, we can start looking at you know weird shapes. 
and still you can draw in your skull circle shape to kind of help you out then maybe from here we have a big nose like a really big nose and then you can start deciding again on your character and what it is that you're wanting to do with this so maybe they have more rounded eyes and you want to do something more simple something more cartoony and we have these things in place now and let's say you just wanted to do a simple a simple ear shape right and this is a guy who's got a bald head but maybe he's got like these little strands of hair in it or whatever right again you can kind of judge from there how you want your neck to look so this would be a cartoon right so again you can be as creative as you want to be right because you have your your typical you know anime when you can draw your chin and again just start building from there you know what you want as a character right you're drawing Vegeta and this is a sloppy version but just making the point that you can learn how to get faster as you go and drawing things out So whatever it is you want to do, just don't do it like that. Start with the construction first. Then you can start playing around and, you know, start learning how to draw cartoons because then you would know how the structure is set up. And you can turn them into you know whatever it is that you want again just kind of making whatever it is that you want to make if that's what you want to do I think I can make this character have really big buck teeth that's when you can start like I said experimenting with different types okay so start with the structure first so just an example just start with your structure and build on top of that okay then you build to this step and then you can start playing around and having fun alright I didn't want to make a super long video excuse me 
on uh, shading, stuff like that to really bring things out. I just wanted to show you the construction aspect, okay? So this was not meant to be some uber cool thing. It's just to give you a better placement of things and a way to set up heads so when you start drawing your own characters you have more freedom and creativity. So thank you for stopping by. I hope you learned something. I hope you had fun. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think or if there's anything else you wanted to see. Other than that, if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, subscribe, leave a like. Uh, remember to keep on sketching and I will see you all in the next one. All right. Bye.